All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the first videos that we did. Today, our video program is gonna be about um, benches workout, or if you have stairs at home, think of the bottom, bottom stairs. This is just like that, okay? So all the exercises you're gonna be focused on today are gonna be like a stair work kind of exercise with some weights in your hand. If you don't have weights, like I said, find something. Um, for example, your Tide Pod, you know those things that come in the bucket, you can, it has a handle? Yep. You can use those, I think that's fantastic, we can do that. Um, I'm excited about today's training. Are you, Kelly? I am, how are you feeling after yesterday? My gluteus maximus <laughs> is sore, right? My butt is very sore, which I know is a great thing. But for, um, you know, my guys are driving today, I think that they're ready to, to give us a big challenge. Awesome, let's go for yeah? it. Yeah? Balance ladies, are you ready? Dragon crew, you ready? All right, what's the first thing, Kelly? All right, we've got a lunge coming at you. So okay. we're gonna put our rear leg on your bench. If you've got a bench at home, if not, you're just gonna put that on either your first stair or your second stair for a bit of a challenge. Okay. If you've got a weight, we're just gonna hold it at chest height. If you don't wanna, uh, you don't have a weight, you just wanna do body weight, that's totally fine. Make sure you take a couple steps forward. So when you do your first test lunge, we don't want that knee coming way over the toe. Ideally, we'd love it to stay over the ankle. And when our, we're thinking about posture, we're thinking nice tall posture, ear, shoulder, and hip in a nice long line. Perfect. So we're gonna do 12 on one leg and 12 on the other. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Here we go. And one, two, three. That's good. Four. Keep that posture. Five. Six. Don't forget to breathe. Seven. Good job. Eight. Good job. Nine. Good job. Ten. We got two more, Kelly. One. One more and two. Oh my. All right, give that leg a shake. Shake it off. Shake the pain <laughs> off. <laughs> All right, next leg. All right, pop All it down right. there. Couple steps forwards. Do your test lunge first. Okay. Make sure the posture is nice, the alignment is there. Perfect. Ready? Let me know when you're ready, sir. All right, let's go. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. We got two more, focus on it, let's go. And one, good job, and two. Woo, shake those legs off, that's fantastic. Let's put our weights down. With good form, you like that back. Uh -huh. I saw that little hint there, baby, I don't like it. <laughs> Okay, what's the next step? All right, our cardio. We're gonna do 25, uh, 24, sorry. Just a little touch down. So we're gonna get in a mini squat. Mm. Touch, touch, touch. And we're going for speed here. 24 in total, 12 okay. on each side. All right, I see you took the smallest one. I did. Oh my lord. Okay, here we go, guys. I mean, I'm a tall guy, so this is gonna make me taller. I'm gonna hit my head on the roof. Oh, and if you don't have a bench at home, you can use their bottom stair again. And we're just gonna do step ups as quickly as possible. All right, I like that. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, which side are we going first? Left side? Left side. All right, here we go, guys, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Four more. One, two, three, and whoa! Oh man, I really enjoyed that first workout. Oh, it's good. Those legs are gassed. Oh, I feel it. I feel it. You know what? I think we should go to the ground now and do some, some abs. A little bit of core. A little bit of core work. Perfect. So we got two different ways that you can try this out. Guys, remember, just try your best. That's all you can do, okay? So Kevin's going to demonstrate the first couple here for us. All right, this is called a reverse crunch. You can do this, again, if you've got a dumbbell at home, definitely do it under load. If not, you're going to just do it with body weight. So I'll just give you a... Little demo here. So a diamond grip on the weight, palm on top of palm. Secure that weight in your hands. We're gonna bring our head towards our knees. Everything comes in together and everything extends together. Nice. If nice. you find that you're getting some big arching in that lower back, then we're not just gonna take we're just not gonna take the legs too close to the floor. We're gonna do more of an upward movement with the legs as opposed to coming down towards the floor. Awesome, and for my option over here, we're gonna be doing pullovers, right? Yeah, so Marvin's gonna demonstrate a last pullover, which is
is just half of the reverse crunch. So if you've got any issues with your neck, if, you, if the crunch is not feeling good, this is a fantastic option. Marvin's just going to demo a couple of vests for you. And I'm using a 20. And yeah, he's using a, he's using a 20. You know, I was going to use a 45 so you know. today. I'm just letting you know these arms. Why are so, uh, you know, they're out of control. All right, he's gonna have the same setup I did, a diamond grip on the weight. And I'm gonna get him to bridge his hips, because if we can recruit more muscles, then that's ideal. So he is gonna exhale as he brings that weight over the chest. And we are gonna inhale back. Now, Marvin's got very nice control over the weight. If you're sort of new to weights, or you're just a little bit hesitant, we're gonna do more of a diamond grip. So that weight stays in a vertical position the entire time. Just like that, yeah. All right, let's get to it. All right. What's our number here? We're gonna go for 12. 12, okay. All right, and again, if you don't have a weight, just use your body weight, that's totally fine. It. Okay, you ready? All right, get All right. set. I'm already set, ready? And yep. let's do this, and go one. Make sure nice and breathe. Two, beautiful. Three, good, don't let that weight drop on your face. Four, tighten up that gluteus maximus. Five, good job. Six, give me full extension with those hands. Good, seven, leg extension as well. Eight, we got four more to go. And one, I'm loving it guys. And two, good job. And three, we got one more like that. And four. Oh wow. I love it. That's fantastic. Awesome job. All right, let's get right All into right. our next routine. We're gonna head over to, again, if you've got a bench, head to your bench. If you've got just that staircase that you're using today, we're gonna head over to that bottom step. So quick little demo for our cardio. We're gonna do 12 on one side, 12 on the other. <laughs> so you're gonna step up. We're gonna do knee tuck, touch down, extension, touch down. Knee tuck, touch down, extension. And if you want to do this, again, under load, you're just gonna hold that weight at your chest. Just a little bit of an extra challenge there for you. Okay. Sir Marvin, are you not gonna do the weight? Well, you know, since I'm this high up, you want me to do the weight? No, you can do body weight. You know what, I'm, that was a challenge, I got it. I'm gonna use the 20s, okay? So easy. All right. <laughs> All ready? right, 12 on each side, 12. let me know when you're ready. And go. Knee and leg and two and leg and three and oh and four and leg and five and leg and six and leg and seven and leg and eight and leg and nine and leg and ten and leg. Two more. One lift. Two lift. Woo. All right. Oh my. A little bit of shake. Well done on the high bench. I, I, I felt those. I felt those. All right. All right. A few seconds to catch your breath. Let me know when you're ready. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Better bench. 3, Safety. 2, and go. 1, lift. 2, lift. Whoop. Three, <laughs> lift, four, lift, five, lift, six, lift, seven, lift, eight, lift, nine, lift, ten, lift, one, lift, two, and woo! Whoa. Oh. Oh. Nice to you know you on the high bench. Oh my, I love this one. That is so good. All right, take a few seconds, catch your breath. Again, if you can't have that weight on your wrist, you're gonna grab a couple of weights. Again, if you don't have weights at home, some soup cans, anything that's just got a little bit of weight to it. Softening your knees, and we're gonna do a true hinge forward. So not just a lean, because we wanna protect that lower back. So a true hinge forward, that chest comes down as the bum goes back. You're gonna hike those elbows up, isolate those elbows so they do not move, and then we're shooting the weights back in unison. And we're gonna go for 12. Marvin's gonna demonstrate just a couple of reps of the just tricep roll us up. I'm just gonna roll us up, just a tad. I just want you guys to get an idea of where we're working. So humble. All right, humbleness is for slackers. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> here we go. So my hand's right at my hip level, right here, where my butt is, right? I put it straight down here, okay? I'm gonna lean forward a bit here. I still wanna keep the gluteus maximus as close to the bench. A lot of people are doing this, but they're pushing away, right? So I wanna be able to go straight down, straight back up and lock it. Straight down, straight back and lock. And if you're looking for a bit of a progression there, you can always extend the legs, keep them straight. Just a little more challenging there. Let me just ask myself, are you ready? Uh -uh. <laughs> All right, let's go, guys. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do six bend, six straight. Okay. Ready? Let's go. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Extension with the legs. And one, two, three, four, five. Last one. And six. Beautiful job. Should definitely feel those on a tricep, okay? Great job. We're gonna be working the cardio now. Kelly's gonna do a, a low plank and a vertical, just a little bit of a vertical there. Elevated mountain climber. Right, perfect. Elevated vertical, same kind of thing. <laughs> I'm gonna do knees with my leg here, just like a Muay Thai knee, so I'm in a garden stance. I wanna make sure my hands are in a triangle pose here. So basically, think of grabbing a knee. I'm back. So we're gonna tighten up everything as we do this, okay? You ready? So 12 on one side, 12 on the other, 24 in total on your mountain climber, All right. um, on your bench, or bottom step, or second bottom step. All right, here we go. I like to roll my pants up, I don't know why, because it's just the Muay Thai way, I guess. You ready, Kelly? I'm ready. Okay, set and go. One, ha, two, ha, three, four, five, ha, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, next leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Woo! I love it. Awesome job, guys. Get a quick water break. <sighs> All right, now we got the next exercise right here. We can do a squat into a double curl. Nice. Yeah? Okay, yeah. you want to demonstrate? You want me to demonstrate? Because you got great form. <laughs> All right, so if you, again, you don't have a bench at home, the weights are just gonna hang by your side during your squat. And then once you've completed the squat, then we're gonna go for our bicep curl. And you wanna make sure that we stop before we hit the shoulders. If you come too close, number one, you lose that neutral positioning of your wrist. And if you rest them against your body, it's a bit of a cheat. So it's just a few inches off the shoulders, rotate back down to your sides. Perfect, I like that, you're using the 12s, I got the 15s. Um, let's do 12 of these. Okay? Yes. Well, you can come in with my weight sits. So no, 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 no. I have to go heavier. No, if you do have a bench at home, what Marvin's going to demonstrate is he's going to squat until his bum just lightly brushes the bench and then right back up into the curl. Yeah. Perfect. All right, everybody, we are going for 12. Ready, set, and let's go. One. Two. You know, the good thing about this is that you don't have to go heavy to actually feel this. After like four or five, oh, definitely you feel that burn. Oh yeah. That's it. Or you just slow down your tempo. Create a little more resistance, keep the muscles under tension just that little bit longer, and you're gonna get a great bicep workout there. Right, let's do six more. All right. Let's go. And one. Beautiful curl. Summer's coming. I'm gonna pop these things out. I'm gonna order me some extra, extra small tank tops. <laughs> <laughs> Three more. Uh, two. And three. Beautiful job. I love that. You know what, Kelly? I think we should get right into taps right now. All right, sounds good. I'm excited about this one. It's our cardio. All right, we'll do 24. 24. All right. When you're ready, sir, let me know. Leg up, set. You know, listen to the coach. <laughs> ready? Set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, and four. Whew. Give me some. All right. Great job, guys. Let's move into the next. Woo! I think that was fantastic. Now, the next workout we're going to work on is... Core. Okay. And a little bit of upper body. Perfect. So, 
you're using the 10, so I'm gonna go with a 20. That's gonna to be tough because um, this is a really, really good one. And we have two different ways to do this. One, if you're gonna put your leg up high, you wanna go heavy, right? No, no, if we're gonna get into a hollow body hold, which I'll show you in just a minute, I would go a little bit lighter with the weight because we're concentrating more on the core. If you're gonna use the a modification and your feet are gonna be down on the ground, and again, if you've got weights at home, we're gonna go a little heavier. Okay. Without weights, we're just gonna mimic the movement and just use our body weight. Oh, sounds great. All right, let's get into this. <laughs> you are gonna use a weight though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought I was just gonna, you know, be Statue of Liberty here. All right, so just a very quick demo. I'm just gonna demo a couple reps for you so you know how to get into position. So again, hollow body hold, head and shoulders are gonna come off the ground and feet are gonna come off the ground. Neutral grip, so the palm is facing the body. We're gonna exhale, lift, inhale, lower with control, making sure that the elbow stays nice and close to that rib cage. Marvin is gonna demo your option. So we're gonna line up the heels with the hip bones. We're gonna bridge the hips so we get some activation in the glutes. And we're gonna mimic the exact same movement. We're gonna exhale on the lift, inhale, lower with control. And again, if you don't have weights at home, anything with just a little bit of weight to it, again, the soup can, a laundry detergent container, whatever it is, make sure the lid's closed. Um, and you can mimic this exercise quite easily. I really like this one. It's a good awesome. one. It's a good one. All right. You guys All ready? Right. I'm 12 ready. 12 on one side, 12 on the other. 24 right. in total, sir. Let me know when you're ready to go. All right. I don't want to pass out now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, lift, position. Um, should I keep the other hand on the ground, Kelly? Wherever you're most stable. Okay, ready guys? Here we go, we move 12, and go. One, and back. Two, and back. Three, and back. Four, and back. Five, and back. Six, and back. Seven, and back. Eight, and back. Nine, and back. One more. Ten, no, I like two more. <laughs> One, and back, last one, and two. Damn, beautiful, let's switch hands. Let's get right in, let's keep that, that, that form going. Ready guys, lift again, set, and go. One, and back, control the weights. Two, and back, three, and back, four, and back, five, and back, six, and back, seven, and back, eight, and back. Nine, and back, 10, and back. We've got two more, squeeze that glutes. One, and back, two, and back, and down. Beautiful job, I enjoy that. That's a good one. That's a good one. All right, let's move on to the next cardio workout right now. Put our weights back behind, so we can feed those in a minute. Pull our down. All right. All right, we're gonna gas at the core. We've got some bench pedals. Again, this can be mimicked on the ground if you don't have a bench at home. So I sit, and what's gonna happen, I'm just gonna use the bench here or the stairs if you have one, just for stability and control. When you're doing these here, don't just push the legs out. Think of riding a bike, lifting it high and extend it completely out. That way you're gonna feel the core. So you can go forward, and then we're gonna reverse that after. 12-12? 12-12. All right. <clears throat> Ready? Yep. Set. One in and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One and two. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One and two. Woo! Wow. I enjoy that. Wow, I'm excited. You know, um, like, I don't realize, like, how much, like, these workout, like, do for you because it looks so small, but it's the way you do the workout. And you put them all together, you get a, a fantastic workout. Once again, we talked about this in the first one is that you can split them up as well. And you can choose which one you want to do. Now you have six, so you could do a lot of rotation how you want to start your training. If you want to start off with just the, the arms or the lower legs, whatever it is, you can verif uh, verify that however you want. Uh, but I'm excited for this last workout. Me too. Um, so we're working on the lats. All right, so we're working on yeah, lats 
and we're working on the back of the shoulder. And Marvin is going to demonstrate on the bench. So again, if you've got a bench, you've got a staircase at home, we're going to get into a high plank position. Mm -hmm. So we're going to bring that left foot back. More. The left foot. Your other left. The other left. The other, the other <laughs> left. The other left. <laughs> get into the center of the bench. Okay. Oh, you want me right in here? Yeah. Okay. Bring your left leg back. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to demo this one. Because <laughs> <laughs> she's just bossing me around. I don't know what she wants, All right, okay? so a high plank <laughs> position. You want your feet back. High plank position. That's why we're taking left foot back. Oh. We're going to drop the weight. And we're going to exhale on your lift. Inhale, lower with control. And this is a lot of core because your body is fighting not to rotate. You want to keep those hips as square as you can. Oh, hey, that's all she had to say was put your legs straight up, both of them. Thought I said that, apparently I didn't. You did not, you did not. So, an option, if you can't wait there, you're gonna get into a staggered stance. Free hand is gonna be on that thigh and we're gonna come into a slight hinge position. So we're working against gravity. Shoulders are square, hips are square, and we're gonna mimic that exact same movement. Little exhale on the lift, inhale lower with control. Grabbing anything you've got at home that's got a bit of weight to it. Okay. All right, you ready? I'm ready. And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Beautiful. All right, let's switch hands right now, guys. That's really good. Try not to lift the shoulders or tilt the body because after like eight, you want to feel your body wants to do those things. Yeah. Try to just not do it. Slow it down a bit, okay? Here we go. Ready? Yep. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more. One, one more, and two. Beautiful job. I like that. All right, if you're working with a dumbbell, place it down with good form. Not like me. Don't do it like I do. Save the back. All right. All right. So, we're going to lower the bench here. Again, Mimic. if you've got that option at home, that's great. If not, you're going to use your stair. That's right. Definitely mimicking the stairs that we have at home. It's not too high. It's perfect. Nope, it's perfect. So, sorry. Go ahead. I'm going to pull this back a little bit. Marvin is going to put his feet on the bench. He's gonna get into a high plank or a push-up position. Facing this way? Yep, you're gonna face head towards the camera. Excellent. Shoulders right over those wrists. Beautiful. So we're gonna start with just your base exercise. So that's one foot at a time, tapping down. Bring it back, and other side. So that is your low impact option. The high impact option is to jack your leg out and back. And what we're trying to minimize here is a big pike with the hips and then a dip on the bottom. You wanna keep the hips in line with the shoulders as best you can. Perfect. Good. So we are, yeah, so we're going to go for 12 in 12. total. Okay. And again, if you don't have a step, you can do this on the floor, low impact, toe taps, or you can do your jacks. Perfect. Here. If, again, you've got any wrist issues, we're just going to jack it out, your tra uh, traditional jumping jacks there. Okay. I'm ready. Last exercise. All right, let's do this. Should we go 24 just for fun? Let's do 24. Let's do 24. Finish off this circuit nice and strong. All right, I'll do 12 and I'll watch the rest, okay? <laughs> All right, guys, let's get saddled up. All right, you let me know when you're ready. Good Lord, I will. Okay, here we go. Legs out. All right, in three, two, one, and go. One, two, three. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, and four. Ah, how's that? Awesome job. Wow. All right, everyone, we didn't mention at the beginning, but make sure you do a bit of a warm up. Three to five minutes, nice dynamic movements, and always finish off with some cool down stretches. Make sure you have your bottles of water with you. Stay hydrated because, man, we didn't hydrate. <laughs> this is a great workout. Woo. See you in the next round. Enjoy your day, everybody.
Peace and love.